Races are meant to be won. And this was the mindset of Team Red Bull's driver who decided that he needs to do that at all costs. Maybe he took that too seriously at the detriment of his team, and this may have cost him a victory at the overall standing. Max Verstappen, Team Red Bull's lead driver, was already in prime position to win the driver's championship. So when his team told him to let his teammate Sergio Perez drive to the win beating Charles Leclerc, well, he declined. Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel where we bring you all things racing. On today's episode, we will be dissecting what really happened with Max Verstappen and his team. However, before we do that, why don't you like, subscribe and tap on the notification bell to get all the latest content we post. For now, let's get into it. Here comes Sebastian Vettel, through goes Hamilton! Max Verstappen wins a Formula One Grand Prix! The Grand Prix is a team event, as much as being an individual one, and working together is the best way to win. However, what happened with Red Bull's strategy at the just concluded race was one to be questioned. Yes, this is because the race was already in a determinable stage and a good strategy was required. This is exactly what the Red Bull team did when they told Sergio Perez who was at the front to do. He had been radioed to allow Max Verstappen to get past him almost toward the end of the race. The idea was for Verstappen, who was faster, to close in and take away points from the duo of Alonso and Leclerc and then return the favour. With this strategy in place, Verstappen moved into prime position and was well on his way to victory. However, as agreed earlier, he was also to allow Perez to get past him too so the driver could also accumulate some championship points. Max Verstappen on the last lap decided to become the villainous and proverbial Judas of the team. After having such a well-planned strategy, the driver decided to get the deed done himself. Verstappen had been blazing at full speed when his team reminded him of the strategy and was told to give Perez the place so he could finish the race in prime position. But from what ensued, the Red Bull lead driver decided he wasn't having any of that and kept blazing on. The engineering team kept radioing him and telling him to fall into formation, but Verstappen vehemently refused and just kept his lead. Now, you're probably wondering what happened during that moment. Yes, we all are, and according to the conversation over the radio, here's what we found out. Giampero Lambiase, who was the race engineer for the Red Bull team, could be heard screaming, Max, let Jack go through, please! Max, what happened? This went on for a while as the team kept reaching out to Verstappen who was focusing on keeping his lead. However, when he would reply, we could hear him over the noise of the track saying, I told you already last time, you guys don't ask that again of me. Are we clear about that? I gave my reasons and I'll stand by it. Yes, just by what was said at the moment of pulse, momentum and pure drive, we're sure you have questions. All this happened when the team was at the point of finishing in a better position on the championship standings. Verstappen had clearly flouted the decision of the team and has reiterated that this was already discussed. The question that now begs to be answered is what had ensued earlier that we aren't aware of, or what is going on behind the quick race and strategy on the Red Bull side of the divide. However, we also have to ask the question behind why Verstappen was mad at the decision and decided to hold on to the lead when the result would have an effect on his position. He could have willingly given up the spot to his teammate and would have still won the championship. According to the information we gathered from their conversations, we were able to find out another twist to this story. Initially, Perez had asked the team to be given Verstappen's spot for the sprint. However, based on how the race started, we could all see that the decision or plea wasn't accepted. Perez had started from his previous position and had still kept on to the initial strategy agreed upon by the team. He had been in a fairly advantageous position and had allowed Verstappen, who didn't need the point, to overtake him. So the outrage at Verstappen is maybe justifiable and would definitely be looked into by the team. If you've been following the F1 and Red Bull teams, then you must be familiar with the incident that happened some time back. At the F1 Monaco Grand Prix earlier, there had been an issue that almost destabilized Verstappen's season. This might have been payback for what had previously happened as Verstappen was notably annoyed at the incident. Perez had been involved in a crash during the Monaco Grand Prix, which resulted in the team getting a red flag. This resulted in the first stumbling block that Verstappen had to face as he was dislodged from a chance of getting pole position. Still, at the end of the race, the supposed perpetrator of Verstappen's woe, Perez, had gone on to win the race. 
Well, if you look at it, this might have been the genesis of the beef between both drivers, but that wasn't the case. According to later reports, it's been said that Perez had intentionally crashed so he could elicit the red flag. This might have been what really pissed Verstappen off, who saw it as a selfish decision that sabotaged his own chance. From the onset of this video, we've looked at the role Verstappen played in this Brazil GP race. He had flouted the rules and agreements decided by the team and didn't allow Perez to overtake him during the race. However, according to his interview with Sky Germany where he was asked questions about the decision, he had this to say. Verstappen agreed to be willing to flout the rule due to the actions Perez had taken in Monaco. So maybe this was payback for all that transpired. Finally, the question that begs to be answered is what happens moving on from this incident? Will the team count this as fair play and move on at Abu Dhabi? Would this cause more damage to the team's cohesiveness? According to Verstappen, he said that he was willing to move on from the incident and work as a team player at the next Grand Prix. So we can hope that this would be the end of whatever fracas that's happening within the team. We've come to the end of this video and we hope you enjoyed every bit of what we dish out. Please don't forget to support us by subscribing to our YouTube channel and turning on the notifications. We would also love for you to share your opinions and thoughts with us on this episode in the comment section below. Thanks for your time and we'd love to see you soon.